One of the things that people stress a lot about is how to organize their photos. Now I'm going to show you how I organize my photos very, very simply and I don't stress out about it because I think that once you start stressing out about the beginning stages of doing digital scrapbooking or photo editing, then you don't even go any further. So let's make this very, very simple. Now, Karen uh, from Snickerdoodle Designs by Karen, she did a class in 2015 and she'll probably be doing another class in 2017. It was called How to Organize All of Your Digi Kits. So this is a little different from what I'm going to be teaching you. Um, how to Organize Your Digi Kits can be found and it's called ACDC. So let me just show you on my screen here see if I can pull it up real quick. Inside the membership area in 2015, it's the, let's see, one, two, three, four, fifth video down, ACDC, a way to organize your digi kits. You can review that. Also, she's probably gonna be doing another class in 2017, so you might wanna watch that organize with ACDC um, in 2017 as well. However, back to how I organize. I have a business, of course, the National Association of Digital Scrapbookers. So I have a Dropbox that I store all of my files in. And the reason I do this is because I don't, I don't feel comfortable just storing them on my hard drive. The Dropbox is located somewhere else. So if for some reason I ever drop my computer or if my motherboard goes bad or uh, my house gets on fire, God forbid, any of those types of things, I would still have that Dropbox folder somewhere else. So that's my first thought is to tell you all to make sure that you store your photos, especially if you want to keep them forever, um, on a different hard drive, not just your hard drive on your laptop or your computer. So that's why you see the word Dropbox here and you'll see it on my desktop too. I don't remember how I got it there. I called Dropbox and asked them how can I get it hooked up onto my desktop. So anytime I save it into that folder, it will automatically save in Dropbox as well. So hopefully that makes sense to you. And you don't have to use Dropbox. You can use Backblaze. There's all kinds of different um, backup systems. So once I have all these folders in here, I have you know the Nayads folder. Here's my Photos folder. Now, as you see, I have 2012, 2013, 14, 15, 16. I think I have the earlier years in a different location. I know I have it in, in a different location. Now, you can, you know, buy storage through Dropbox as much, you know, I think I pay $99 a year, which is fantastic. Um, I could probably up that and get more storage space, but I just haven't done that. So at least I have the last six or so years. Now, if you click on 2012, you will see I automatically put the 2012 first. I put a dash and you can do it however you want to do it. And then I put a little bit about it. So if you have more than one kid, it might be a little bit more confusing. You might have a, um, a folder for each kid per se. Now, I only have one child, so it makes it a little bit easier. So I just go like maybe third grade, okay? I put all the photos inside there. Now, you don't have to rename them if you don't want to. It's not a big deal. Don't get super, super organized that you don't want to even go any further. That's my point right there. So here's the Arizona trip. Then I go back to 2012. I can see the Aspen trip. There's all the photos that I took in Aspen. Now, if I go back to maybe 2016, it's gonna look pretty similar too. First day of seventh grade, balloon and Frederick, the balloon show and prep Frederick. Baseball, baseball majestics, baseball fall, or basketball, sorry. Concert fun, Cooperstown, Easter, El Dorado, and so on and so forth. So you can get as detailed as you want to. I try to keep it pretty simple and put all of my um, photos inside of those folders tough to say. Now I do have some scragglers here that I probably need to get organized, but we did a big photo shoot with my family. So I have Waddle's photo shoot right here. And I didn't really want to put that in a particular category as far as what year it was, only because I know I'm going to go back to this over and over in the next four or five years because they are professional photo um, uh, 
professional photos. So I do have that outside of the box. So you can kind of um, see how that works. And if it works for you, that's great. If you want to get more detailed, go and check out the ACDC class. And I think it's in 2015. And again, she probably will have another one here in the next few months. This was just a quick snippet taken out of the Photo Editing and DigiScrap Academy. If you would like to learn more about our memberships and bonuses, please go to www.naods.com forward slash special. Thanks for watching.